guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about e-commerce and more specifically, Amazon FBA. So a little bit about me if you guys don't know, I've been selling on Amazon for the last four years and I have built up two different brands on Amazon that bring in well over a million dollars a year in revenue. However, I know a lot of people who are hearing about Amazon FBA for the first time are wondering, does it even make sense to sell on Amazon in 2023? And if so, how do I get started? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video, so keep watching. So I wanna first say that selling on Amazon is definitely something that is doable in 2023. E-commerce is stronger than ever. Amazon is thriving. They're getting richer and richer and people who are selling on the platforms are still making money. I think what you have to remember is your approach and understanding that competition is going to exist no matter what business you decide to start. So the fact that there's competition shouldn't completely turn you off from selling on Amazon. It should just inform the way that you go into the business and I'll talk about that a little bit in today's video. So the first thing that you're going to do when you want to start selling on Amazon is go to the website sell.amazon.com and you're going to sign up for your Amazon seller account. Now that Amazon seller account is going to be pretty straightforward for you to apply for. Yes, you do have to apply, but it's very simple to get accepted if you fill all the information out correctly. So what you're gonna be asked when you go through this process is your name, your address, your business name, very basic details about you and your business. And I just want to give you guys a quick tip that when you're going through the process, they are going to ask you for something called your business type. And what they're asking you for when they ask for business type is whether you are a sole proprietor or an LLC. I am not a CPA, so this is very basic information. But what I will say is that if you are someone who already has an existing LLC or you want to create an LLC to sell your Amazon products under, you can do that. But if you're like the average person and just like me when I started selling on Amazon, I did not have an LLC and I sold as a sole proprietor. So when you get to that prompt in the sign up process, where they ask you, what is your business type? If you are someone without an LLC and you want to sell as an individual or as a sole proprietor, you would just click none, I am an individual. That is what you are going to click to move forward in the process. They are also going to ask you if you have UPCs. If you've never heard of that, don't worry about it. A UPC is just a barcode and they're asking you if you already have them purchased. You don't, but you can say that you do. Just to get past this step in the process, it's not a big deal. You will purchase your UPCs when you need to. So just select yes and move forward. What I wanna say is at the end of that process, when you fill out all the information they're asking for, they're going to do what they call a tax interview. And that's basically them just asking for your tax information at the end, but they are also going to ask you for some documents and the documents that they ask you for will kind of depend on where you're located. There are people who sell on Amazon from outside of the United States. So they're gonna specify what they want you to provide. This could be something like a driver's license or some type of a state ID. They could ask you for a utility bill or a bank account statement. What is important to remember when submitting your documents is that everything has to be clear and legible and shown in full. So if it is your ID that you are providing, make sure that the entire ID is visible. If it's your passport, make sure that all signatures and everything is included in the photo that you send them. When it comes to bank account statements, you cannot take a screenshot of the bank account. Amazon will reject it. So what you want to do is download the PDF or the accessible PDF, however your bank does it, and submit that version, not a screenshot, because it will give you a problem. Now, I've heard of different things happening for different people, and I do have students in my step-by-step -step Amazon program who have signed up and been accepted immediately. Back when I started selling on Amazon in 2018 is when I first signed up for my account, everyone was accepted right away, so long as you provided the required information. They have changed since then, and now sometimes they require extra steps of verification. So it's possible you'll be accepted right away, but it's also possible that there will be extra steps. What you can expect as far as extra steps is that Amazon will send you a postcard in the mail that will come to your address. So make sure when you input your address, you do it correctly. 
And then from there, you're going to receive that postcard. It's going to have a code on it. You will input that code into your Amazon account or you'll be able to provide that to Amazon so that they can set you up with an interview. Now, I know that sounds intimidating and you might think that it's gonna be really hard, but your Amazon verification interview is very, very straightforward. All they're gonna to wanna to do is to see your information a second time. So they're gonna compare how you look on camera to your ID and make sure that you are who you say you are. So long as you are not trying to steal someone's identity and you are who you say you are, you'll be fine and you will be accepted into to an Amazon seller and then you'll be qualified to start selling on the platform. Step number two is to start doing your product research. Now with any business, including Amazon selling, you always want to do research as to what you're going to be selling, what the market is like, what your competition is doing. You're going to want to know these things because this is what is going to set apart the people who succeed with Amazon to the people who don't. And a lot of people who start selling on Amazon who say it doesn't work, they you can't make money, it's because they don't know how to do product research. So I'm here to just kind of give you a couple of tips as you're going through that process. There is a software that I recommend for Amazon product research and there are many different ones out there and I have tried more than one, but my favorite and the one that I use constantly is called Helium 10. And Helium 10 is a really, really good software because it gives you a lot of tools for a very, very good price. And when you're starting out, you have to understand the concept of investing in your business. It's gonna be very hard to start a business for zero dollars and that's just the truth so look at your subscription to helium 10 or anything else that you're using as an investment into your business and into your future and it is tax deductible okay <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and get helium 10 helium 10 is a website but what you really want to remember is that they also have a Google Chrome extension so if you're starting your Amazon business and you don't have the world's most fancy laptop it does not matter you don't need a really nice computer in order to do this. You just need to have internet access and you need to have Google Chrome. So you can go on a place like Amazon or eBay or a Facebook marketplace and find a used computer for literally a hundred dollars. As long as it has access to Google Chrome, you're going to be good to go. So what you're going to do is get on Helium 10's website. I'll leave a link below for you guys to try out Helium 10 and I do have a discount code for you guys if you want to try it out. Trust me, it is the best Amazon software in the game and Again, I've tried some of the others. So you download Helium 10 and you're going to download that Google Chrome extension. And what you're going to do is search for different products by metric. So you're able to specify what categories you want to search in. You're able to specify how many reviews you want the products to have, how much revenue you want the products to be doing per month. You guys let me know, do you want a video on product research? I can give you kind of an introductory level product research 101 video here on YouTube. If you're interested, let me know in the comments and I'm more than happy to do that. But that is what you're going to see with this tool called Black Box. It is a very, very powerful tool to give you ideas of products that you can sell on Amazon. You're also going to want to utilize that Google Chrome extension so that you can do your market research and really see how much money your competitors are making so that you can make a good decision on what product you're going to invest in with your Amazon business. Something that I tell my students and even, you know, the people who connect with me on TikTok when I teach about Amazon is that it's very, very important that you're always doing that market research and making sure that there is a place for you. And one thing I can say is that the product that you pick will make or break your business. If you pick a good product, it's kind of hard to mess up a good product. But if you pick a bad product, it's very hard to save it. So, you know, this is the baseline level of where your business is either going to be successful or it's going to fail is with your product research, which is why I emphasize it so much whenever I talk about Amazon and success with Amazon. So that's what you're going to use Helium 10 and it will definitely help you find inspiration for products. And you can actually find product inspiration in other places like scrolling on TikTok, like scrolling on Pinterest, Instagram. You know, I really encourage you guys that as you are scrolling and just taking your mind off of your work day or 
entertaining yourself by looking at cat videos or whatever, that you keep the mind of someone who would potentially sell on Amazon and have curiosity about products. If you see some random cool looking thing, why not go look on Helium 10 and see how much money it makes on Amazon? I found three of my best selling products by scrolling on social media and just doing the research and seeing if there was an opportunity to make money doing it on Amazon. So lots of different ways to find great products to sell and Helium 10 is a great tool to help you get there. After you find a product that you feel good about and a product that you have checked the numbers on, the profitability looks great, you can then move forward to the sourcing stage. So this is gonna be step number three. And when you're sourcing your products, it can seem a little bit intimidating in the beginning because you're going to be talking to manufacturers or vendors or suppliers, whatever you wanna call it, that are probably not going to be located in the U.S. If you want to get the best price points, you're going to have to go overseas uh, to find a supplier. And the marketplace where I have found every single supplier for all six of my Amazon products is Alibaba.com. So Alibaba.com is a marketplace where you can find lots of manufacturers who can make your products and private label them for you. So when you're doing private label, what you're doing is you are selling a product that is already in demand on Amazon and you are having your own logo put onto those products. So you're not inventing anything from scratch. You're not reinventing the wheel in any way. You're picking something that people already are proven to be interested in and you are putting your own twist on it. You're customizing it. You're differentiating it so that you can stand out in the crowd. So if everyone else is selling a pencil, you are selling a pencil that also comes with a case for you to carry your pencil around in. So you're elevating the product a step so that you're able to compete when you launch your product. So when you go on Alibaba.com, you're going to reach out to these suppliers and see what they offer and what price point they offer it for. You want to find that good balance between a good quality product with something that is still affordable. And that is going to be the key to your profitability. Is it something that I can reasonably sell for a markup or is it something that I'm not going to really be able to upcharge for? And if you can't sell it for more than what you're buying it for, then you have a hobby, not a business, and we all want to make money, right? So make sure that you are finding something for $2 that you can sell for 10, something for $3 that you can sell for 15, so on and so forth. When you're looking for suppliers, there are lots of things that you want to look out for, but primarily I will just say that many of the suppliers that you're going to find on Alibaba are located in China. Some are in India or other countries, but the vast majority are located in China because it is a Chinese company and a Chinese marketplace. So what you want to do is make sure that that you are vetting these suppliers based off of how responsive they are, how well they communicate with you. Of course, again, the price point versus the quality. Get a sample, check out the product and see how you feel. And then you can decide whether or not to move forward. What is standard is that you're probably going to have to make a deposit before they move forward with manufacturing your product. And then when they're done, you will pay the remaining balance and then you will be done sourcing your product. Next up after having your product sourced is to then have your product sent to Amazon. There are many different ways that you can have your product shipped to Amazon, including but not limited to having your supplier do the shipment for you. You just have to pay them a certain amount and they will coordinate the shipment and get it to Amazon. Or you can hire what is called a freight forwarder, which is a shipping company, and you can hire them to deliver your products to Amazon. So you can figure out which way you want to do it and move forward that way. But one thing that I just want to mention is that you cannot just randomly send your products to Amazon. You have to complete what is called a shipment plan through your Amazon seller account. And that shipment plan is going to let Amazon know what you're sending, how many you're sending, how many boxes it's coming in, and details about that shipment so they know to expect it and receive it accordingly when it gets there. So that is a step that you don't want to forget. You cannot randomly send stuff to Amazon. They've got a very specific way they like to do things and how they accept their inventory. Again, I can make another full video on sourcing your products and getting getting it from uh, China to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. If you guys want it, let me know in the comments below. And then after you have your products delivered to Amazon, your final step is going to be to launch your product. Now, launching your product has a couple of different components to it, but you want to make sure that your product listing is complete and ready to go, complete with beautiful photos of your product, a reasonable price, bullet points, a nice title, keywords uh, to help your product to be discovered on Amazon 
Amazon. So you're gonna just make sure that everything is set up and ready to go so when your products get there, you are ready to hit the ground running and start selling. So those are the main steps with getting started selling on Amazon if you are a beginner. I hope that that helps you as you're going through your Amazon journey and just always remember that everyone starts somewhere. So if you start to feel overwhelmed or you feel it's not something you can do, remember that me and pretty much every other Amazon seller didn't know what they were doing at some point. And just like anything else, you get better with time, you get better as you practice. So definitely stay consistent and you are going to find a great product that you'll be able to move forward with.